I got into science um, not because my family was into science. My father is a banker. He's retired now, of course. But um, I had very good teachers in, in school and I loved physics and chemistry. And was on, for a while I was not decided whether I wanted to study physics or chemistry, but I had a brilliant chemistry teacher in high school. And I studied uh, engineering chemistry, so a chemistry degree with a bit of engineering thrown in. So I'm both a chemist and an engineer. So uh, what you've seen today is one fiber optic sensor that we developed. It's a um, fiber optic sensor for strain and vibration and uh, we use it to pick up the vibrations of a guitar body. So the uh, fiber optic guitar sensor, for example, is not just a pickup for a guitar. It also is a very good vibration sensor as such. So you can put it into an airplane wing, you can put it into uh, a blade of a windmill, right, and wind turbines. Uh, you can put it on machinery, uh, you can measure strain in uh, in, in, in engines, in cars, what have you. So there's many, many applications aside from musical instruments. The other sensors are used as sensors for uh, drinking water quality, environmental uh, contamination. One of the things we need to know is that our sensors are only recording the vibration we're interested in. So they have to be noise free. They, they're not supposed to pick up uh, electronic noise or optical noise because our laser intensity changes and so on. Now the best way to figure that out is to actually listen to the vibration signal coming out. So plugging the sensor into a, uh, into a headphone and just listen to your sensor. If you place the sensor on a guitar, then what you should hear is a really pure guitar sound. And only when our sensor is good enough that it fulfills hi-fi requirements, then we know it is really noise free. If it's good enough for a guitar, it's good enough for everything else. With the um, guitar pickup, one thing that I always wanted to try is to use it as a chemical sensor uh, recording um, the photoacoustic response of, of, of chemicals. So we zap a, a, a chemical or a solution with a laser, it generates sound, and that sound can be picked up with fiber optic cables. I like best that I can pretty much do what I like. Right? So I can, I can think of an experiment. If, if I have a bit of funding, I can just explore things. And most of the time it doesn't work out, but sometimes it does and then you've made a discovery. And I think this is how progress is being made. NSERC is actually very good at this because they, the discovery program permits me to do this research that doesn't have milestones, that is just curiosity driven. Mm -hmm.